the mini series of drones from DJI always used to play on my mind, namely with the two big questions of whether something so small could handle the environments I like to fly in, but also if it could produce the content that I would be happy with. When I first got my Mini 2, it did feel a little bit cheap when taking it out of the box, but after my initial first flight, I could hardly fault it. Being so light, the Mini 2 did sacrifice many features seen in those larger models of drone, and to be honest, it felt a little bit like an impossible task to include them in something so small. Fast forward approximately 18 months to today, and I'm really pleased to show you this, which is the brand new DJI Mini 3 Pro. This now features that obstacle avoidance, master shots, active track, true vertical shooting, along with having a larger sensor, but it's all still housed within a small compact body that is actually hitting that sub 250 gram weight. Weighing in an impressive 248 grams when the micro SD card is installed, the Mini 3 is only 10 grams heavier than its predecessor, but gains a lot of new additions. At the time of me shooting this video, many of the smart features were still yet to come, but in the early hours of the morning, a firmware upgrade arrived, and I'll be sharing more on this later. Inside the box we have the drone, controller and basic accessories which consist of spare props, a screwdriver to replace those props and a USB-C cable. With a completely new look that's been optimised for better flight efficiency, the Mini 3 Pro has larger propellers, an aerodynamic body tilt and a streamlined design. This all helps to provide a better forwards handling that that drone needs when in flight. When hovering, the Mini can provide up to 30 minutes of flight time, whereas when flying, and I would guess in that forwards direction, your flight time is increased up to 34 minutes. That tilted flight position and contoured shell not only help in getting the most from the 2453 mAh battery, but it also gives the Mini a good level of resistance when flying in stronger winds. Rated to a level 5, this drone can handle wind speeds up to 10.7 meters a second, or just under 24 miles per hour, which realistically most users would probably think twice about flying in, but it does allow for those sudden gusts that could creep up on you whilst you're in the air. The new design also sees the arms of the Mini fold in a different way. On the previous models, the arms would need to be opened with the front two first, due to the legs being blocked by the rear arms. On the Mini 3, DJI has swapped over the arms locations, so the front arms are housed underneath, and the back ones on top. With no legs built into the arms, you can open and close them however you wish, without restrictions. It is also worth mentioning that the Mini 3 motors have a much better ground clearance, allowing you to take off and land more safely, and avoid the props potentially getting caught on anything in your landing zone. It is however disappointing not to receive a prop holder, like you get with the Mini 2 or Mavic 3, as I found the props do sometimes flap around when packing it away ready to be stored. When purchasing the Mini 3 Pro, you have a few options to choose from. You can buy it as a standalone unit that's due to be released later this year, or right now you can buy it with either the normal RC-N1 controller, which is pretty much DJI's standard go-to remote, or you can upgrade to the new DJI RC, which is what I'm using here. This remote does away with your mobile device as it has a built-in screen, but its overall size is marginally bigger than that standard controller, yet considering it includes that monitor, it's a fairly small compromise. 
Interestingly, the new controller is roughly 10 grams lighter than the non-screened version, which came as a bit of a surprise, but does mean that it's a comfortable weight in your hands and doesn't leave you aching after a flight or two. We find all the usual buttons and dials, but no pullout antennas due to them being built into the top of the controller. I had no problems viewing my content whilst flying, thanks to the brightness of the screen, and you can also plug in a micro SD card and capture your screen's view should you wish to. The Mini uses DJI's O3 technology which can broadcast a 1080p live feed of your footage up to 8km away when using the CE branded controllers. With a new larger 1 over 1.3 inch CMOS sensor, the Mini 3 Pro is capable of capturing 4K up to 60p or 48 megapixel photos in both JPEG and RAW. This is achieved using the 12 megapixel sensor and some clever technology seen in the previous DJI drones and results in a high res photo that's perfect for large formats of printing. With a bright f1.7 aperture, your footage will look stunning at the lens's native 24mm equivalent focal length, and you can also zoom using one of the controller's dials, along with an HDR video capture option too. D-Cine Like is available as a colour profile and allows you to capture footage and then grade it in post, letting you easily match your content up with other cameras. With the latest firmware installed, you have the option of shooting slow motion footage in full HD up to 120 frames per second, along with that 48 megapixel mode and true vertical portrait capture, which is perfect when sharing content to your social channels. The gimbal itself sees a new design and improvement with the tilt arm supporting from below. This, along with that slight cutaway in the top of the body, allows the camera to now look up to a 60 degree angle, making the creative possibilities even greater. This will also be useful for anyone using drones commercially who may wish to inspect under bridges where the only previous options were larger platforms. When filming this video I unfortunately did not have the option to use any of the master shot features nor the focus track modes that have now been added by DJI. Possibly the most exciting part of these is the addition of that much loved active track. This is found as part of those focus track options which also contain Spotlight 2.0 and Point of Interest 3.0 and these allow you to shoot professional quality footage in an easy to set up way. The next level of safety has been put into the Mini 3 Pro, which now hosts tri-directional obstacle sensing thanks to the built-in dual vision sensors. You are now equipped with forwards, backwards and downwards protection along with DJI's advanced pilot assistance system which can detect objects in the drone's path in real time. This is in no way going to replace any of the larger drones that DJI produce, but for someone looking to fly for the very first time, or any creators and adventurers who are wanting to gain those intelligent flight modes, the obstacle avoidance, along with that improved image quality, but yet keeping to that sub 250 gram weight limit, the DJI Mini 3 Pro is definitely worth checking out. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit subscribe ring that bell to get notifications of all our latest content. And if you'd like any more information, please click on the link below or pop into your local London Camera Exchange.